Hello friends, this is Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our video tutorial series on G plus 6 building design using Tecla Structural Designer. So friends, in the previous videos, we had discussed about the plan of our apartment building and also we had shown how to create the center line diagrams and column positioning and how to save the CAD file and DXF format. So friends, in this video, we will first create the construction levels in Tecla Structural Designer and then we will import the DXF file to all the levels. So let's get started. So first of all, this is the interface of Tecla Structural Designer. We'll go to our model option and then as you can see here, we have the option of import DXF. But first of all, we need to create our construction levels. So for creating our construction levels, we have our base level at zero, which can also serve as the plinth level. So, so we'll insert a level below, which is our foundation level. So we'll click on insert below and just we can give it a height of 1.2 meters say minus 1.2 this minus represents that it will be below zero that is the foundation level will be below the base level or the plinth level. So this is the base level and then we can do an insert above. It is to be noted that the TOF represents the top of foundation here and then for the floors we can give a spacing of 3. 2 meters. The slab thickness will be 150 mm and this is the base which is the plinth level and this is the ground floor slab level which is represented as 1 and we can also insert above. As you can see we have created these levels. So now let us see how many levels we have created. This is our ground floor level, this is our plinth level, first floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, fifth floor sixth floor so it is g plus six one two three four five six seven so it is g plus six building now we are given the height of all the floor to floors as 3.2 meters now we can change the type of floors from tof that is the top of foundation to ssl that is the structural slab level so we'll do that for all the floors starting from ground floor, first floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, fifth and sixth. So we have our G plus 6 here which is done as SSL and we have given the slab thickness of 150 mm. So we'll just click on here we have not given the slab thickness is not visible. We we'll click on OK. Go again, go back to construction levels. So we'll do this as SSL. So it is not taking the slab thickness because it is not selected as SSL. So SSL has been selected and all good now. Good to go. You can click on OK and then we can go and see our construction levels. So the base, let us first import our DXF file which we had created. We had saved it in our desktop probably. Okay, yes. Yes, we saved it here. Beam column plan, let us import that. So, as you can see, the uh, we have the layers which I had created. As we had told earlier, first we'll need the center line only. We'll import the center line which will be your architectural grids and the unit will be in mm. So, on clicking on next, do this as by layer and we can copy this to all the levels because all the plan is same for all the floors. We can just copy this on all the levels and finish. As you can see, the structural grid is ready where we can place our beams and columns. So, we can go to import DXF again and select our beam column plan again and then this time we'll unselect the center line because we want to import the plan and this time we'll import the plan as a shadow it will not be physically present but it will be present as a shadow so that we can position our columns and beams accordingly as we had shown in the earlier video we had already made the beam column plan so if we import this plan as a shadow this will be helpful for defining the position of beams and columns, which you will see further. So we'll just do this as shadow because we don't need as grids. We'll convert the unit to mm and then 
we'll just click on finish I'm to zoom a bit as you can see our plan has been imported at our base level as you can see we have def defined positions of columns as well as beams here so we can simply put the beams and columns in the software without any problem so friends that's all in today's video if you want more from us and if you want to join us offline for training in Tecla Structural Designer and any other software related to civil engineering, you can join our Civil Center Student Club where we provide industrial training to civil engineering students as well as professionals and also help them in getting a job. So if you are interested to join, you can contact 9777469666 or you can also mail us at team at the rate civilcenter.in. Please let us know your feedback in the comment section. Bye bye, see you guys.